Okay, YouTubers, so this is considered a mini intercom system movie. So, the reason I say that is because there's a lot of video footage all put into this video here. So, before you continue watching this video, if I were you, I would get some popcorn, candy canes, or whatever food you prefer. And enjoy, and enjoy this video, because there's some juicy stuff that... I've never done before on this channel, so this is completely new, so enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, this is the big surprise that I told you about. I want a store at Metro Center Mall. We got some goodies here for sure. I'll be taking those that you see. I'm gonna try to see if I can take a few of these parabolic lights. Try to take, oh, that. Let me try to take that. Take a few of those. That camera. You got the stock room. Got a bunch of rooms back here. Ooh, look at this fixture. These are all T12s. I'm gonna try to take that. This looks like it's like a little add-on. I'm gonna assume this was probably to the speakers in the store. There's multiple in this store, so I'm gonna take every single one out. I don't know if I'll mess with this. Panels back there. Bathroom? Let me see if I can rip that out. Got a bathroom here. Yeah, I'm on a time crunch, so I'll try to take out as much as I can. Got some vents. It's all open. We got web dresses up there. That you typically would see. A lot of duct work. Look at that big motor. I'm not gonna take that down, it'll be too heavy. You gotta be careful with these sprinkler pipes because there's sprinklers everywhere and I don't want to hit any of them. So yeah, I'll update you as I go, but I will get started here. Okay, YouTubers, I just ripped out a couple speakers here. We got two types in this store. We got some of these vintage realistics, which you know a lot of these older stores have. There's a bunch of these. We got some Quam Music rebranded speakers here. There's a whole bunch of these in this store. I'm gonna take every single one. Maybe we'll add these to the to the video in the coming days. We got many more to go. Whole bunch of them in the store. We got one here. It's funny how they placed them. More here. No one in the front. So yeah, got a bunch of stuff here on the ceiling. I'm gonna save every single one of these. Cause I know you fans out there like to see that kind of stuff. So I'll try to get some footage of me taking one out of the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna remove this. Try to carefully take the screws out. Try not to strip them either. One more screw up and I have to try to hold it in place so this doesn't fall on the ground. And then I got some connections up here. We got a bunch of wires up here, so. Up this side, we'll put that off this side. And then we have a can up here. This isn't even tied down to anything, so I should just be able to take it right out. No one knows. Try to close 
install all the best I can. And there you go. That's how you remove secrets in the ceiling without bending them and scratching them all up. And let me put my screws on the magnet. Like that. There we go, another Muzak. Paul Marie Brandon speaker. I'm gonna pull it off of these ones. Okay, so we have a realistic speaker here. This one does not have a tile brace. In fact, they just screwed the straight to the tile, so I'm gonna have to lift this one out. Without, without bending the grids too much. left their garbage up here and we want to disconnect these space connectors that whoever put those on in the past there we go and those four silver screws in the middle we want to loosen them since this is on the tile directly the flat heads which is no surprise and there's a nut in the back I'm gonna try to put every nut on this magnet as well as some of the screws. Not that went off in the distance, but I could pick that up later. This is becoming a good news, so this is good. There's a the speaker right there. It's got a nice big wizard cone in the middle. This is the back of the baffle. This is the front. Put this tile off to the side, and I'm going to make sure to put a couple of the screws back on, so that way. Uh, the baffles and stuff don't get all bent. You don't need to tighten them down all the way because it's just because you gotta get transported back to the back to the house. Sometimes you gotta work the bolts in. And then somewhere back there, there's a bolt that, or, there's a bolt, there we go. And voila, it's back together. Hello YouTubers, so this is the aftermath so far. Tore out every single speaker, so the next time you see those speakers are in the video on my intercom system. Got two boxes of them right here, and I tore out every single vent in the store except for the stock room. But, yeah. And yeah, I took out the vent in the bathroom. I don't know about that one, I'll think about that. This one was goofy, these two, but I got them out. And yes, I make sure to watch out for sprinkler heads for you fire alarm enthusiasts. I took out the security system because the wall wart was right there, so I was able to take that out. And there was no auto dialer on, so, yep. I still have these, I still have a few in the back, but I'll think about that because these ones are kind of high up. I didn't even notice there's four footers. I might think about those some other time. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this part of the video, and I'll see you back at the house. Hello, YouTubers. So, we are back at the house with all the equipment set up. And yes, this is an extra amplifier of mine now. So, we got the BG 
1060. This used to be the shop amp, but I've upgraded it as I show. Well, I actually, I don't think I didn't show it, but you'll see it in the shop. I still have this amp going. This is my 1120. I got all those speakers connected. So the ones I you saw in the video, they're all connected. So we'll play some music. And then you gotta turn up the ball. These are all still connected. So. This is driving those realistic speakers because they're only eight ohms. So this is being driven off this amp only. I have a spread out a little bit different here. This one I actually took the baffle off and I put it in the shop. This one has a realistic driver in there on the sound oiler baffle. Now these ones don't have transformers, so I'm driving them off a separate amp. But they have page hooked up. We also, there's no mute revision on this side. Kind of making a multi set. I got this one here tucked up. Cooling off war, thank you. Kind of more of a store setup. Yeah, these are the furthest away from the amp, so these ones might be a little bit low. These are just the realistics on this side. These ones are going too. The only reason these are low is because they're tapped at two watts, which that was the way how they came. So I just left it as is. This one's the furthest away from the amp in the room. This is connected to my main amp too in the room. Multi-store set, if I go call it. So, yeah, multi-store setup going on here. This side heard a lot of changes that has happened. So, there's a new speckle horn, in, but this is an 8 ohm version. I actually found that in a state sale, so I got a step down transformer for it, which is in this junction box here. So, it's at 15 watts. There's one of those speakers I took out of the store at Metro Center. That's where the 6 one went. It's hooked up. This one I tapped at 4 watts. Nothing hasn't changed here on this the tile except, you know, tapping that off the junction box. Now here's where things get a little bit different. I added the, this one actually has a 3M driver in it. And the reason I chose a 3M driver is because these baffles were budget for, you know, mom and pop shops back in like the 80s. So I chose a 3M driver to keep it time appropriate because I want a step down transformer. So that's what lives on that baffle. I have this extra Duquesne speaker you guys have seen in the past. So this one's from a bowling alley, but I bought it on eBay. So, yep, it's another Duquesne on the system, at least the second one. And this one I installed back in July. I just haven't showed you guys, but this one is a wheel lock speaker. And yes, it's associated with the wheel lock fire alarms. This one has a volume control, but unfortunately the baffle on this one is plastic. But it is new old stock, which is not yellowed. So, yeah. 
I can adjust the ball and control on it because it's scratchy and I really don't want to take this apart since it's plastic. And I believe there's a date code of 1999 on this one. So yeah. These two remain the same, all these in the back, including the Bogan speaker that's buried behind these lights and the, another APF 15T horn. Now, this is a new amplifier I just got for in here. I officially upgraded to another BG1120 for the shop because my demands, you know, have gone greater in here. So I needed more output power and I didn't want to overload that other amp. I found this for 25 bucks on eBay. In case you guys are wondering, these usually go up from like 60 to 100 bucks. This was an auction on eBay, a very recent auction. It claimed, the seller claimed it did not work because they didn't have a way of testing it. So I took the risk and bought it and it works great. The only thing was it was covered in nicotine inside. This probably came from like a smoker's house. So, yeah. I cleaned it up though, so. I always dust those amps out. The horn is still in the porch. Nothing has changed with that. Hey, hold it off here. Okay, I had to get a quick little delivery here, but. Now we're back off of the video. So I'll turn that on. Now I gotta, you gotta keep in mind. I can't leave this on for too long because there's actually someone, the president of the HOA that lives down the corner for me. So I don't want to make them mad. I'm not going to turn it loud. I'm just going to do a moderate. I'm not gonna page outside this time, so. Except New Year's though, that's an exception. Nothing has to change with that. So yeah, nothing out of the change. We'll do a little bit of funny intercom pranks in this video. Since it's kind of a big system now. Fun fact, there's 57 devices on the system. But what I mean by devices is speakers and horns combined. All of them, 57 on the system. In case some of you are wondering about that. It's crazy how much it's grown. So I'll turn that off so we don't make anyone mad. We have a GE phone here because the other one decided to die on me. It, wanted, it likes to play dead sometimes. So this is a General Electric trimline phone. I believe from the 80s, but this one's super sensitive. See, it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud, so. Might use that phone a couple times in the video. And that was on mute, in case you're wondering. There's my Sound Advanced CT10 I told you guys about that you saw a couple months back. I installed it right here because this can had, had the little slots for the clips. And I ended up moving the Duquesne up here. It's a very short, very, very short move. So, speckle horn's still here. In fact, I fixed this one. It used to rattle really bad. Like on certain notes and songs. I got rid of it by using a little bit of Elmer's glue around the diaphragm, so. Yeah, so got my mystery seeker up, the CTA. These two remain in the same spot. Four J still remains in the same spot. So I'll set up the camera over there to kind of simulate a store. 
I'm gonna go to the shop and make pages. So I'll set the camera right there. Yeah, so there's no mute on this side, like I said. So I'll show you how I got that going. So I got one of these blanks at uh, an estate sale with a bunch of, you know, outlets and switch plates and whatnot. So I drilled holes in here and then I use these little I use these plugs off of the old CRT TV and I just hot glued them to this plate to make this. It works great, so these two are my left and right stereo channels feeding the you know the music to this amp. And this middle one here is the UPAM page, which goes through this itty bitty wire to a doorbell transformer. This is what's used to power your doorbells up in your house if you still have mechanical doorbells. This is the secondary. I have my signal feeding through the secondary, which are these terminals. And then I have these, these wires that come out of the primary straight to the common and the hot of tell in the back of your amp. If you have one of these amps, you're gonna have this set up. And the reason I have this is because this app is acting as a matching transformer. Because if I just hook this straight up to the amp, it sounds like garbage. Too much trouble and high gains and whatnot, so there's not as much low. So that's why it sounds good, especially on 8 ohm because I'm using this matching transformer. So if you ever find these at Home Depot, Lowe's, for dirt cheap, get them because they're good for paging applications. So... Let's continue on with the pranks. So we got a, we got my antiquity phone here. So I'll go from that phone in the room. It's a little bit of wires everywhere. So these ones are the new ones I just got from the store from Metro Center. So I'll put the camera right here. Move that out of the way. So, I'm going to go back in the room with Paige for you guys. Please clean our horn, weapon engines, rock engines on our horn, These ones are on mute because these ones are again are tied to the main room amp. Which so we're gonna get a little bit more silly here. So there's a video I've seen on the internet of people take well these kids that take the little fart ray gun from Despicable Me and they blast fart noises. I never done that with my system. I don't have the toy, but I got something on the phone for you guys. So, I'll set the camera there for you. So I got this classical Nokia here. So the audio likes to flake out on this all of a sudden now. But, I loaded up some special fart noises for some of you guys that find that stuff kind of funny. So I'm gonna load it up and you know do an announcement through these. Five 
price check on your father. Once again, price check on your father. Again, price check. This is a seer sink. Thank you. So I'm going to go in the shop for this and play this through the, the Northern Telecom phone since, you know, it'll amplify it real clear. So. It looks like the music is stopped. We can't have that, so. There we go. So you guys are not hearing the same 50 songs over and over again. Yeah, I don't know why. This one likes to sound as you act up. If I have to make my own, whatever. Gotta love when technology acts up. Or the play's dead. I had something loaded for you guys, but... Not wanting to work today. So... I'll go make my own noises. It's gonna be a little silly, but... Trying to put it all over the place for you guys where it's not too close. There we go. There's a silly sound. Somebody's gotta go back the old fashioned way. Oops. Didn't mean to kick that. So, yeah, I've got a bunch going on here. I bet these never got the paging application before, but now they're on the system. So we're going to the shop now. I'll leave the camera here for you. <clears throat> so I'll go back to the room and page to the Warren Telecom. So we're gonna go in here now. Been a hectic year, so I'm trying to, you know, do some funny little pranks. So I'll put it right here so you can hear it better. Kmart 
choppers today at Blue Light Special in the electronics department. Once again, Blue Light Special in the in the electronics department. Thank you. I had to throw the blue light special out there for you guys that love Kmart. So. So. I think now I'm going to call some famous cartoon character. To the front of the store because they're going to be fired so now throw the fire joke out So, yeah, might be fair to do the palm speaker for you guys. It's, I'm gonna put it down like that. Yo, yo, Rapper G in the house. Once again, Rapper G is in the house. Meet him in the pharmacy department. Thank you. There we go. So I'm gonna put it right here.